Hello there. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to calculate the reliability of systems with components in series. The questions covered in this video relate to problems 17.1, 17.2, 17.5, and 17.11 in your text. Let's actually start with problem 17.11. Here we have a medical control system with three components in series with individual reliabilities. R1, R2, and R3 is shown. R1 has a reliability of 0.99 or 99%, R2, 98%, and R3 a reliability of 90%. What's the overall reliability of the entire system? Well, all we have to do with systems in series is simply multiply all the reliabilities of all the components. So 0.99 times 0.98 times 0.90 is 87.32% reliability. We can look at problems 17.1, 2, and 5 all at the same time. With problem 17.1, here we have a computer's electronic processing unit that contains 50 components in series. The average reliability of each component is 99%. What we have to do is determine the overall reliability of the processing unit. Well, with components in series, the reliability of the series is equal to the reliability of each component to the exponent of n, or the number of components in series. That's equal to 0.99, or 99%, to the power of 50, for a total overall system reliability of 60.5%. For problem 17.2, a testing process at Boeing has 400 components in series, and the average reliability of each component is 99.5%. Again, find the overall reliability of the entire testing process. The reliability of the series is equal to the reliability of each component to the exponent of n, which is equal to 0.995 to the power of 400, or 13.47%. Clearly, as we add more and more components to the series, even with high reliability, the overall reliability of the system drops. For problem 17.5, here a new aircraft control system is being designed that must be 98% reliable. The system consists of three components in series. Now if all the components are to have the same level of reliability, what level of reliability for each component is required? So what we have is a series that looks like this. We have three components, but we don't know what the reliability of each one is. We do know that the overall reliability of the system is 98%, and if each one has the same reliability, then R times R times R, or R cubed, is equal to 98%, or 0.98. Well, all we have to do is solve for R by taking the cube root of 0.98. If you're using a calculator that doesn't use cube roots, hopefully you have a, an exponent function that's equal to 0.98 to the exponent of 1 third, and that's equal to 99.33% reliability. And that's how you determine the reliability of systems in series.